Cockney rhyming slang. Hello and welcome to English Like a Native. My name is Anna and today we're joined by the lovely Sam. Sam is going to help us today learn some Cockney rhyming slang. But what is Cockney rhyming slang? Well, it's a form of slang which uses rhyme and it originated in London's East End. An example of Cockney rhyming slang would be... Apples and pears. Which means stairs. So let's have a closer look, shall we? Adam and Eve. Would you Adam and Eve it? Believe. Would you believe it? Awful dodger. I had to kick the awful dodger out. Lodger. I had to kick the lodger out. Alan Wickers. Oh, she had a nice pair of Alan Wickers. Knickers. She had a lovely pair of knickers. Baked bean. You've got to love the baked bean. Queen. You've got to love the queen. Baker's dozen. He was talking to his baker's dozen. Cousin. He was talking to his cousin. Ball and chalk. Take a ball and chalk. Walk. Take a walk. Ooh. Barnaby Rudge. I'm up in front of the Barnaby next week. Judge. I'm up in front of the judge next week. Barnet Fair. Where'd you get your barnet trimmed? Hair. Where did you get your hair trimmed? Barney Rubble. You are in serious Barney Rubble. Trouble. You are in serious trouble. Battle Cruiser. Oh, me and the lads are going to the Battle Cruiser later. Fancy coming? Boozer. Me and the lads are going to the Boozer later. Do you fancy coming along? Bees and honey. He's making some serious bees and honey. Money. He's making some serious money. Boat race. Take a look at that beautiful boat. Face. Take a look at that beautiful face. Ah. Bob Ope. You need to wash with some Bob Ope. Soap. You need to wash with some soap. Bottle and glass. Oof, look at the bottle and glass on that. Ass. Ooh, look at the ass on that. Brass tax. You need to get your brass tax straight. Facts. You need to get your facts straight. Bread and cheese. <sighs> makes me bread and cheese. Sneeze. <gasps> no, it makes me sneeze. Bread and honey. Mate, I haven't got any bread. Money. Mate, I haven't got any money. Bricks and mortar. I, I don't know. Ask your bricks and mortar. Daughter. I don't know. Ask your daughter. Brown bread. Nah, mate. He's brown bread. Dead. No, friend. He's dead. Bubble and squeak. You know, Tony the Bubble. Greek. You know, Tony the Greek. Bubble bath. You are having a bubble. Laugh. You are having a laugh. Butcher's hook. Go on, have a little butcher's. A look. Go on. Have a little look. Chalk farm. My chalk farm's killing. Arm. Oh, my arm really hurts. China plate. How you doing, me old China? Mate. How are you doing, my old mate? Cows and kisses. Is it cows and kisses giving you a hard time again? Mrs. Is your missus giving you a hard time again? Custard and jelly. Turn on a custard and jelly. Telly. Turn on the telly. Daisy roots. Check out my new pair of daisies. Boots. Check out my new pair of boots. Darby and Joan. She was having a right old Darby. Moan. Oh, she was having a right old moan. Dicky bird. Have a dicky with a boss, would you? A word. Have a word with the boss, will you? Dog and bone. I was on a dog and bone for about two hours last night. Phone. I was on the phone for about two hours last night. Duck and dive. He's always ducking and diving. Skive. He's always skiving. Duke of Kent. 
They keep putting up the Duke of Kent. No one's going to be able to afford to live in. Rent. If they keep putting up the rent, no one's going to be able to afford to live here. Dustbin lid. Well, he's only a dustbin lid. Kid. He's only a kid. Elephant's trunk. <sighs> she was elephant's trunk last night. Drunk. I was not drunk last night. Fireman's hose. My fireman's hose is all blocked up. Nose. My nose is all blocked up. <laughs> frog and toad. I was just walking along the frog and toad. Road. I was just walking along the road. Gypsy kiss. Watch my pint, would you? I'm busted for a gypsy. Watch my pint, will you? I'm desperate for a piss. And if you don't know what piss means, it's a swear word. And you can learn all about it by clicking this link now. Right, well, that's all we have time for today. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. If I get enough of your thumbs, <laughs> then I will do another Cockney rhyming slang video. If you enjoy Cockney as an accent, then why not check out the video I did with Paul, which is all about the differences between a standard accent and a Cockney accent. And if you're learning English in general, then make sure you press that big red subscribe button and the bell notification button so you never miss a lesson. All the links that you could possibly want are in the description box below for social media, English courses, pronunciation courses, and some special gifts just for you. So do go and check those out. I just want to say thank you to Sam. You're very welcome. Take care, guys, and goodbye. You and me, we're going to have to have a dicky. <laughs> <laughs>